All right, so people are getting hostile on my Instagram. They want to see the bloom effect. So today we're going to play with the lightweight render pipeline uh, in Unity with AR Foundation, and we're going to use the bloom effect from the post-processing package. So the first thing that we need is our starter project that we made in the last video. So go to the Third Aurora GitHub and find the AR Foundation example. Either download that here or run a git clone. Now this project, if you didn't watch the last video, it's just a starter AR Foundation project that allows us to place objects on the ground. I think we put a cube in there and then it allows us to toggle on and off the uh, AR planes in the point cloud. All right, so we've got the starter project downloaded. We're gonna open it in uh, Unity Hub, but the first thing we, we're gonna need to do is open it in Unity 2019.2 or greater. So if you don't have that already, download 2019.2 or greater. We will need that. So once you have that done, open that project. All right, so we've got our project open. First, let's go to File Build Settings and let's switch our platform to Android or iOS. Close out of that and now let's go to Window Package Manager and we're gonna need to update some stuff. So the last video, we were on 2019.1 uh, Unity version. So now we're on 2019.2, we have access to AR Foundation 3.0. Download version 3.0.0. Okay, so now you can see these red triangles pop up. That means we need to update AR Core and AR Kit. So first go to AR Core, update that to 3.0.0. So now let's do the same thing for AR Kit. So now we can finally look for the lightweight render pipeline plugin. So lightweight RP, click to see all versions, and actually we're just gonna download 6.9.1, so just click install. All right, so the last package that we need to download is the post-processing package, so click that and um, find the version 2.1.7 and click update to 2.1.7. Okay, so close this package manager and let's go into our main scene and um, let's go to the main camera and then we're going to create a new layer. So click add layer and let's call this um, let's call this effects. Click back onto our main camera, and then we should be able to add this effects layer to our main camera. Cool. Now it looks like we're missing a script on this camera. I don't remember exactly what that was, so let's just remove it for now, and I'm sure we'll figure out what to re-add there later. Okay, but for now, let's go back to our project, and then in the assets folder, right-click and let's create a folder, and let's call it rendering. So click to open that, and then the first thing that we need to create is going to be a rendering lightweight render pipeline, pipeline asset. So if we double click that to open it, uh, we definitely want to put HDR on, and then render type, we're going to change that to custom. And you're going to see it adds a forward render data asset here. So inside our rendering folder, let's create another rendering lightweight render pipeline, and we're going to create our own custom forward render. Um, so when we do that, double click it to open it, and then in the render features, we need to add an AR background render feature. So uh, before, if you would try to run the lightweight render pipeline on uh, older versions of AR Foundation before 3.0, uh, it would work, except for your camera background camera background wouldn't render. So that's, that's the problem that we're solving right here. Um, so now if we click back onto our lightweight render pipeline asset, uh, we can drag our now new custom forward renderer into this slot and this should be set up to go. And now we need to add our lightweight render pipeline asset and everything to our graphics settings. So go to project settings over here, click graphics. You can see that it's looking for a lightweight render pipeline asset. Let's drag our asset into that slot. Okay, so now back on our main camera, I want to go back to the uh, inspector and we're going to add a post-processing layer to this. We're going to change the layer to effects and then we're gonna add a post-processing volume as well. We're gonna check this to is global and then uh, profile, post-process profile, just click to add a new one. So this might go, okay, this is gonna go into main profiles. I'd rather just have this in our rendering folder, so let's drag it there. We can delete this folder that it made. Okay, cool, so that's, that's looking good. So now back on our main camera, click here to add an effect. So let's go Unity and let's add the bloom effect. This is what's gonna give us that glow. So if we expand this, you can see there's a bunch of different settings here. We're just gonna change intensity to one for right now. So now we should be all set up to make our cube glow. So if we go back to our content parent here, this is that cube that we were placing in the world in our last video. So let's go to the assets folder, create a new folder and let's call it materials. Double click that to open it. Let's create a new material and we'll just call this glow. 
And then off here to the right, we're got, yeah, it's a lightweight render pipeline lit asset. Very good, okay. Let's drag it onto our cube. So that is looking pretty good now. Let's make it a red color. And then let's activate emission. And then when we change this emissive color, you'll see this becomes kind of our glow color. So let's make it eh, like a lighter red. And now when we change the intensity, you'll see that it starts to glow. So let's go with like a cool, like, I don't know, a blue, bluey, eh, bluey glow. That looks pretty good. I'm liking it. Let's see what it looks like on the phone. Okay, so before we build out, I figured out something else we're gonna need on the AR camera. Add a component and click to add an AR pose driver. Yes. So I'm assuming there was an older version of the pose driver that we removed, or I guess it got updated when um, the new version of AR Foundation came out. So if you don't have an AR pose driver, add that to your AR camera. And now we should be good to go to File, Build Settings, and then Build and Run, and let's see what this looks like on our phone. Hey, we're glowing. Look at that glow. All right, pretty cool. All right, so that's it. That's all I got for today. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys want to see in the next video. I'm thinking a good follow-up to this video would be uh, playing, playing with the shader graph, doing something cool with that. So I don't know. If that sounds interesting, definitely let me know. But with that, we will see you in the next one. Goodbye.